Howdy cowdies, weekly walkabout time at the collector. Got another good auction this week. Lots of nice jewellery and stuff in the cabinet. Coral, pretty cool 50s sort of feathered earrings. Silver rings, some nice stuff over the back, little Scottish brooch. Heaps of silver, little Chinese snuff bottles, train tickets. A little bit of gold and some other stuff. Silver, nice little Paul Davy art glass pendant over the back there on a nice silver chain. It's got a nice sort of Art Deco little necklace in there as well. This is really nice, the Victorian sort of fold over card table. I think it's got nice inlay on the top as well. Burr walnut veneer or something. It's kind of cute as well, a little sort of 1920s, 30s little sort of tub chair. Hole stand, a couple of nice lamps, the sort of Deco reading one's nice. Nice little Deco auto trolley. Vic Bitter Balm Air is actually pretty cool. Little cabinet top. This is a nice old engraved map of Guernsey, 1902. And it's on like sort of a very fine linen. Quite a nice thing. Okay, yes, we've got some cool old footy records and footy ephemera. Sort of oriental stuff. Little Japanese Katani figure and Kosone. I reckon there's probably coins in these here albums. And there you go, little pennies and stuff. Some bloody Stanley sort of tool or gauge, cigarette lighters, a couple of nice little pictures, funny little sort of wood block there, a little watercolour over the back which looks to be up uh, Mount Martha from Safety Beach. A little black and white TV with a jumbo bob set, Some cool vintage ladies clothing and hats, big lot of footy gear, all the pictures, all the cards, all the jumpers, we've got some cool clothing, hunting vest. There's a pretty cool little sort of ladies hippie vest there with a nice little sort of French 1970s jacket. Some band shirts, Def Leppard and another sort of heavy metal stuff. Carlton and Collingwood sort of uh, bomber jackets or letterman jackets. Pearl Snap, Western, Wrangler, Temtex, some American ones, an ambassador and stuff. Yeah, so we've got these are cool old sort of workman's coats. Astrakhan coat and another one. Shirts. Some cool stuff there and a nice two-piece sort of motorbike outfit. Stereo gear. A couple of boxes of tribal stuff. Big lot of kitchen alia. Some old Ford tail lights. What else have we got? Mixed lot of gear, toys. And lovely little sort of toolbox. It's got riding on the side from Sydney. The Denver and something Corporation Sydney. We've got some nice little tools and stuff in there as well. Big box of costume jewellery and stuff. It's a cool lot of sort of doctory sort of gear and heaters and a bottle of Dr. David's Plasma Port. It's even got the upside down sort of hanger so you can actually drip feed it. <laughs> DVDs. Notice we've got big mixed group lots. Lego and stuff. More interesting books, a little box of china, some more tools, more costume jewellery. Big bucket of sort of skateboarding gear and footy boots and rollerblades. Pretty cool old 1980s board in there, which is kind of bad cool. Golf clubs, surfboards, skateboards, roller skates. Mix a lot of gear, tools and stuff up the top. What else have we got this week? Box of Meccano and Wii and other sort of stuff. It's a nice little sort of vintage first aid kit. Got all the gear inside it. Mixing desk with a Randall quad box and some other sort of stereo gear. Telescope. Lighting. Big modern spotlight there with some other bits. Tobacco station sign with a big sort of um, bar top. Which weighs a bloody tonne. Nice little JVC boombox, another big lot of costume jewellery, big lots of CDs and stuff. Another nice big lot of stereo gear. This is pretty cool, this is the hip bath. Little sort of elbow rests on either side of it there. You got a free bonus pair of legs. Stereo gear, nice little sort of depression cabinet, some pictures and prints. Old fireplace around. What else have we got? Nice big shelf lot at the top there of all the sort of retro household gear. A cool little sort of cookie jars and stuff. 
more retro. Nice lot of pretty china and glass. Uh, what else have we got? Comics, toys. Used to be some cool little bits of Italian pottery or something. Comic books and other sort of books. Elvis. Nice sort of sort of retro kitchen gear again. Men's magazines. Got any little sort of shower heads and sprinklers, sort of hose tops and keys and locks and stuff. Gramophone. A lot of china, some modern gear, Dalton and Arsberg and some other stuff in amongst. All sort of magazines, mixed lot with some pin-up girl stuff on top. There you go, you got a bloody life-size waiter. He's been sort of scaring the shit out of us most of the week. You cruise around in here and you can see him at the corner of your eye and you think it's someone looking at you. This is a nice big sort of decorative, sort of abstract oil painting. We've got some more nice little pictures this week. Bert Limpens. There you go, Paddington Graffiti it's called. And I reckon it says vote for Nifty Nev on one of the fences. This is really nice, little John McWalter oil painting there of a rosebud. What other bits of stuff have we got? This is an interesting little bit, Michael, what's his name, Michael Scott Mitchell. It's a little signed and numbered two out of four. Uh, a little print of the storyboard for how uh, we lit the uh, Sydney Olympic Games cauldron. Really cool thing. Being exhibited and stuff up in Sydney in galleries. Got all the details in the back. This is a nice little Jennifer Paul oil, Paul oil painting. And this is kind of cool. Francois Merlet. A little abstract thing until you sort of notice the bloke climbing down the rope. Really cool little thing. The escape artist. I've sold a few of his paintings. They're always sort of good fun and stuff. Little group lots. Nice little lot of Australian gear at the top there. Bit of Japanese in amongst. Members support your club. Purchase your Carlton beer here. Some more sort of little posters. Movie uh, stills and stuff like that. Nice group lot of EP and a Staffordshire dog. Tribal. Oz Pottery. Lots of Dalton and stuff this week. There's a little lot there. There's another little lot. That was pottery, some sort of Ford manuals and stuff, more costume jewellery, tools and gear, big lot of Don Shield and stuff, a little medical lot there with a nice old sort of St John's Ambulance sling with a little, sling with a little diagrams on it, red phone, the Young'un's retro clock's pretty cool, another nice lot of retro gear, you got Israeli, Ranieri, English, Swedish in amongst there, pretty cool little New South Wales railway reproduction luggage rack. Some nice watercolours, good lot of golf, couple of lots of golf clubs. Another nice little cast iron mermaid, some tribal, glass, more tribal, West German, English, bit of Japanese pansy to teapot copy in amongst, Jackman, Oz Pottery and some other bits. A convict brick with the thumbprint on the end. We've put it with a made in occupied Japan uh, insulator. A couple of bits of silver that are damaged, some good grand final footy records, nice lot of Dalton under English China, can't wear, little lemonade set, you got Merlin and Robin Hood, bit of Shelmar there, nice little clock case, needs a movement in it, another nice big lot of retro gear, some calisthenics batons, games, records, bit of Desmond Decker, Bakelite phone, Oz Pottery, more Silvac, clocks, more Dalton, little Franklin Mint, a uh, little roller's a good little bit. More die cast, Bendigo pottery, Brian Kite pottery, and a shell petrol sort of canister. What else have we got? Another nice mermaid, there's two of them this week. Crystal lamp, big lot of miniature Dalton and stuff. Oz pottery there, Silvac. Usual glass plaque over the back with the MFB and a little number 6312. English, domestic, art glass, a couple of woofer dogs. Oh, nice lots of early, the sort of blue one over the back, there's a nice early bit of Wedgwood with some Dalton Japanese and other blue and white. A couple of little corgi dogs, one of them's damaged. Nice little lot of Australiana there with a the doily press over the back and the bits of pottery in front. Robert Beck. More Dalton. Silvac. Silvac. Nice book on R.W. Sturgis. The good Australian watercolourist. A couple of bits of candy wear. 
little Beswick Bed Eagles decanter, more bits of Silvac. Sort of heavy copper figure this looks to be. Queen somebody on horseback. Big bit of petrified wood that's been carved. Desimone, Dalton, Silvac, Silvac, West German, Silvac. Nice little Australian terra ceramics plaque there of a Mexican guy and his chicken. Little piano shaped phone's pretty cool. We've got some bloody good footy records. What's that? Sturt versus Port Adelaide grand final sandful record from 66. I think we've got State of Origin, the big V versus Western Australia. What's that? 1964. Pretty cool thing again. Some nice Italian retro gear. Nice little West German retro plaque. Davidson Cloud Glass. There's another grand final record. The Kilda's only one and only ever win. <laughs> and there's three in amongst this lot as well. It's a good little lot. All grand final records. Little Italian espresso machines a ripper. Silvac gnomes. Nice little sort of whiskey lot there with the two of them. Little plate over the backs pretty early. I think it's Japanese, I think. Uh, so we got Barbara Swarbrick Oz Pottery. Nice bit of Carltonware over the back. Fantastic little novelty Bulldog Radio. Uh, Katie Gold New Zealand Pottery piece there. The tall, colourful, sort of cylinder shaped one. Little Silvac Koala. Looks like a couple of Silvac horses galloping. Nice bit of Moorcroft. The tray over the back's interesting. It's hand painted. It's be Dutch or something like that, maybe. Interesting thing about 1900, give or take. Big John Derma Oz Pottery Bowl's quite nice with a sort of blue speckled glaze. Looks like a little Silvac bull. A little sort of oriental Chinese vase over the back's all hand painted. Quite a nice thing. And there's more stuff as well, I reckon. What else have we got? Some nice lights in here. Good ephemera. More footy records. Records. I got the gear down the front. The ballerina costume's pretty amazing. A couple of nice African masks as well with all their sort of adornments. This is nice. Quite unusual. I haven't seen too many coloured tarpa cloths. Interesting thing. Anyway, there's some more cool retro lamps and stuff up there. There's heaps of stuff this week. Hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't really care if you did or if you didn't.